Good Saturday morning, Pentecostals. Pastor here with five more minutes. We're glad you have joined us. Uh, we are doing everything we can to connect you and feed you and, and get in front of you uh, to encourage you. Uh, we're going to be announcing a couple of different things we're going to be doing for next week. Uh, we are going to be doing live streaming um, and recorded streaming for the weekend uh, for worship so that you'll be a worship at home. Uh, we've invested in some software so that we can start displaying some words from home so you can gather your family around uh, the TV, the monitor, the iPad, your cell phone, and worship with us. So we've got a lot of activities. I am busy. We are trying to connect with you in several different ways. Uh, I was up till about 2 in the morning putting a lot of this new software together just so that we can spend some time with you um, during this absence. So five minutes with Pastor. Let me, uh, let me do something real quick, and uh, I also want to describe some of the things that um, that will help facilitate uh, your worship a little bit better. And uh, I'm going to put this up real quick. Sister Michelle says, good morning. And so it's good to see her online too. So we'll be able to do some of those things as well. So good to have Sister Michelle joining us. Shout out to her and anybody else that, that joins in here. I'm going to read to you one of the Psalms that I was reading this morning. Um, I say this quite a bit. It's one of my favorite Psalms. Uh, but it is a fall, Psalm that I... Uh, often referred to, even while I'm preaching. It says this in Psalms 133, Behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious anointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garment. As the dew of um, Her Hermon and as the dew that descended from the mounts of Zion, so there, now catch this, so there the Lord commanded the blessings, even life forevermore. From that place, that place of, uh, of what? That place of unity. Good to see uh, Sister Brandy online too. Again, I'm just playing out with some of our new software, so I want to do a shout out to Brandy. Uh, she's on right now, and I just put her comment up as well. So pastor's playing with some of these type of things. I just read to you Psalms 133. Um, it is a psalm of unity. But did you catch the last verse? It said, when we come together in unity, that's where God can command his blessing. Your Bible also says that we're not to forsake the assembly of ourselves and even so much more as we see the day approaching. Of course we're to get together. Right now we're limited by physically gathering in a building, but I'll tell you, your church just made a large investment, I shouldn't say a large, but a, a uh, dollar um, uh, investment in this type of software so that we can make sure you stay connected and dwell together in unity. That's why this live stream is going to be so important, and that's why a pastor made a decision to go ahead and invest in something like this. T shouting out to Tyler, good to see him on. Um, praise the Lord, everybody. He's saying you should be able to see that on your screen uh, as well. But um, your pastor made an investment um, in this software so that we can stay connected and still be in unity. We still need to assemble together. I am doing everything I can to make sure that the church goes forward. I'm preaching to you at the same times or as close to the same times as we can. We're going to be doing live streaming of worship and pre-recorded worship so you can connect to us. We've invested in uh, YouTube and got uh, hours, I guess, into YouTube and got that up for you so that if you don't have the capability to do it from your smart television, the iProducts, you can at least uh, connect there. We're going to be attempting to uh, stream the services uh, from that place last night, or from, from that place, or to YouTube, uh, excuse me, from YouTube tonight so that we can work out some of those bugs. And uh, we want to connect with you, whatever we can to do. But here's what you need to do. You need to come together in unity. So you need to gather in at that time. I know there's a lot of distractions. You're going to be tempted to search Facebook or, or look around and different things. Please don't do that. If you're going to get the most out of this, show up to church. Bring your family in there. Sing the songs. Preach with the preacher. Uh, comment on Facebook. Um, you know, amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, all those things that you would normally do in church. And that's how we gather together in unity. 
So tomorrow morning, we're going we're gonna to be meeting again around 10.30 uh, and doing a live stream video. Uh, we have a preacher scheduled to preach. Uh, we're going to be Sunday night. I'm going to attempt to go down to Storm Lake again and preach with a translator using some of this software uh, so that you can get the most out of it. But what I need you to do, I'm doing everything I can. I think I have worked harder, I keep saying that in these streams, than I have uh, in all of my years pastoring, trying to bring to you the best service that we can and trying to bring to you the best quality of service that we can. And if you like this software, shout out for the software that we're we're, we're doing and, and what we've got assembled together. But if I'm going to put all that effort in, then what I need the church to do is put that effort in and come together in unity. Gather at those times. Bring your family. Bring a few friends. Meet together in the, the house. Share it out to Facebook when we're uh, streaming live services. Connect to your neighbors. You know, Shoot a message saying, hey, was thinking of you. I know we're all trapped in and nobody can get to church, but my pastor's online. Why don't you go ahead and join us? Let's pack the place online with visitors and, and watch parties and people streaming because there's a blessing that can be commanded, the psalmist said, when brethren get together in unity. That's what I'm asking to you in these five minutes. Join us. I know that some of you work and you're, you're, you're enjoying going on later and watching it. That's fine. Um, but I'm asking you, brothers uh, and sisters, join to us uh, together in unity. I think you're going to like some of the things uh, that is coming up. I have I have put it in my mind to schedule guest preachers. Later this afternoon, we're going to do the Sheldon service, and Brother David's going to be teaching Search for Truth. Uh, if you haven't seen Search for Truth Bible study, um, I ask you to enjoy join us this afternoon. If you're new to our church, this would be a course that I would recommend that you should go through. Brother David's going to teach you the Bible from, from beginning to end. And he's not going to put any commentaries. I mean, a lot of commentaries in. He's going to read you straight from the Word of God. And if the Word of God says it, then we need to do it. It doesn't matter what man says. We need to open our heart to what the Bible says. So you're going to hear from Brother David later on um, this afternoon. And then I'm going to race to, to Storm Lake. We're going to try to film some pre-recorded worship or some worship, and maybe pre-recorded and also live stream it so that you can join us this uh, weekend in worship. We're going to be connecting to the um, marathon worship team next week and they're going to be streaming um, at some point so we've got a lot of things scheduled I'm going to be bringing in guest speakers and guest preachers during these five minutes I'm going to reach out to some of my pastor friends from around the United States asking them to join me in on these five minutes we're just going to try to give you the best quality service we can so it was good to see Gabby join on God bless you sister Gabby and uh, we're excited about what God's going to do tonight and then, of course, um, I just seen uh, Eden jump on, too. And so uh, good to have Sister Eden on here as well. Excited. I do have baptismal certificates. We're going to start passing them out at some point. But I need you to join together in unity so that the church can move forward and the blessings of God can be commanded. I don't know what the next few days or fit, uh, next few weeks uh, involved. I do know that I've been up praying, and I know that your, your pastor's wife, um, Pastora, she has been earnestly seeking God. Uh, I found her this morning just in tears. She was just crying because of her concern for you. She wept. She looked up at me and she said, I just need a hug. And of course, we're socially uh, isolating from one from another, but I reached down and gave my wife a hug. Of course, we're not doing it with our families. but um, um, So I let the church hug her because she just carries such a burden for everything uh, that is going on. She misses you deeply. We're going to try to get her connected back on. I apologize for some of the quality. It was a different software we were testing last week, and it just wasn't working for us. But I am in love with this new software. Let me run you through just a couple of things. I know that I've already kept you five minutes. Um, we're heading up to the 10-minute mark, but I want to connect to you on a couple of different things. Sister Marlis asked me to do this as well. Um, part of being together in unity, the church still has bills just like you do. I'm praying that God blesses you on your job, and I know that... Um, some of you are now unemployed. We're praying for you, uh, praying that even you know in this interim, if it has to be uh, through unemployment or through the, uh, the United States government sending out checks. Now, I do want to warn you, remember when they send out that check, that's God's blessing, but you also tithe on that because that is God's first, and then you give your, your portion to it. So I'm expecting to see a lot of $100 tithe checks or $200 tithe checks, whatever, whatever they send out. But let me show you a quick way 
to do that, um, let me show you a quick way. If you would go to our texting um, number, I'm going to put it up here real quick. Uh, if you would go to that 712-481-9411, this is the same number that you can text for prayer requests. And we have a prayer team standing by that are praying for you and they're taking this very serious. And then we also have um, um, connection forms and we also have a form that'll help you give. This is probably the easiest way. There's multiple ways. It's going to encourage you to get the app. If you've got the Facebook app for faith teams, um, it'll be a little bit easier way to connect you there. But right now, if you would just, um, when you get ready to give your tithes and give your offerings, just like we would on a Sunday morning or a Sunday night, you can text the word GIVE, that's capital G-I-V-E, to the number you see on your screen. When you're done texting that, it'll send you a form. Now, you have to be on a smart form, phone uh, or an iPad. Uh, so this does not work, Brother David, for your flip phone. I apologize for that. But it will work from your iPad. Uh, if you can figure out uh, how to set that up, it will work from there. It'll send you a form. You click on that form, and this is the screen that will open up. Uh, it is your faith team's login. If you don't have a password yet, um, and if you have not been in our database, most of you are. If you gave me the correct email address, it should work. But you can sign in from there. It'll, correct, uh, it'll create you in the database and start setting you up. It'll confirm your text to give number, so your cell phone number. Again, if I have you in the database, it should be an easy process. But it's going to verify it. It's going to send you a code. You can verify that that is you. Then it'll kick you to a screen after you do that. A really simple process. It'll say, here's your phone number. Um, and you can add a card. You can either go right to your bank account, right to your checking account. Um, you can go through that process. You'll see add account there. Or you can add your debit card. Um, and you can click on that right there by adding your debit card. It'll ask you to put in the um, numbers. I can tell you that this is a very, very secure place. I met uh, the UPC pastor that developed this software and understands the security. And I can tell you that there are very few places in the world um, that are more secure than what he has set up right now. Through some of his contacts, he was able to set this up on a server and grant us a very secure place. And it's a place that you order from almost weekly or some of you do daily or monthly. Um, but we have access to a very secure server there through this software. That's why I like it. Once you do that and you set up a card, you'll be brought to a screen that says, what is the nearest church near you? Because based off of your uh, zip code number, there are other teams that are using uh, this faith teams. Uh, please make sure you select um, which Pentecostal church you're talking about. Although Brother uh, Fleming and Ames would love to receive an offering, and so would uh, the pastor in Sioux Falls and some of the other Pentecostal churches in here, make sure you uh, type in your password or your zip code correctly and select the Pentecostals of Marathon, Iowa. That's our corporate name. That's where all of our books are being done. So you'll, you'll enter that. It'll kick you over. Check for our logo. You'll see our logo and our pass, um, uh, our, our, sorry, our, our, our name. This is where you can enter the gift, however you want to, uh, whatever amount that you want to, um, your tithe, your offering. When you do that, the next column will drop down and um, give you an opportunity to select where do you want that to go. Is it your Marathon Tithe, your Storm Lake Tithe, your Sheldon Tithe? Shout out to the people in Fort Dodge and for the Karen Church as well. We're going to be creating a category or should have already created a category for Fort Dodge ties and for um, Star, uh, Sheldon, or I'm sorry, for uh, Karen, the Storm Lake Karen Church ties as well. So that'll be in there. You can pick up that. There's one last thing I want to point out to you. You can actually add. So if you're going to do uh, multiple donations like your tithe and giving or giving to a building fund or the global missions, you can just add another gift amount there. And then at the bottom, at the bottom, you'll see a little checkbox that say cover the processing fees. Now, this is up to you. We're not telling you you have to, but I want to explain what it is because a lot of people have asked for it. If you just give and send it in without checking that box, then the church covers the two point, and I was going to look this morning and forgot, I think it's 2.6 or 2.4% uh, banking fee to make that transfer happen. Some people are being generous. They're saying, Pastor, I'm not putting gas money in to drive to church, so I'm just going to go check that box and I'll cover the fee. So if you were going to give a $100 offering, it would probably add something like um, $1.13 or something. So it'll be $101.13 because it would ask you to cover the, uh, 
uh, the banking fee. But again, if not, if you just put $100 in there, then the church will receive the $98 and some change, and we'll cover the fee as well. So it's up to you how